So we got a new set, new graphics, new music. We're going to try a new segment tonight. It's called Top This. We'll see. Here's how it works. Two panelists will join us. Each one gets to tell what he or she, in this case she, thinks is the most outlandish stories of the day. After each has made their case, one will be crowned the victor, I will judge. First contestant tonight, Kelly Riddell, Deputy Opinion Editor at The Washington Times. Capri Cafaro, former Ohio Senate Minority Leader and Executive in Residence at the American University School of Public Affairs. Welcome to you both. All right, Kelly, you. you are right. first. There's a lot of nuttiness going yes. on in America right now, but you've isolated what you think is the nuttiest of all. Well, Tina Fey, the, Tina? Comedi the comedian extraordinaire. Apparently, she hates women like me. Meaning, like you? Well, you know, the 44% of white, college-educated women who supported Donald Trump this November. Because apparently we're ill-informed. We watch way too much HGTV. I mean, I happen to like HGTV, but that doesn't <laughs> You're mean... You're not alone. You know, I mean, Property Brothers is a great show. <laughs> but uh, that doesn't mean that I also don't uh, stay attuned to what's happening politically. Like the fact that our GDP growth has staggered below 2%. That there's no, you know, jobs for a lot of people out so there in the economy. So she's saying you're the reason Trump collected. I think we have a yeah. bite of this. This is Tina Fey attacking you, in effect. Watch. <laughs> we sort of need to... Ah, to hold the edges that it's sort of like a, a lot of this election was turned by kind of uh, white uh, college educated women who now would maybe like to forget about this election and go back to watching HGTV and I would want to urge them to like you can't look away because it doesn't affect you this minute but it's going to affect you eventually. Right. So be as concerned mm -hmm. as Tina Fey. Kelly, I don't, know if you can, I don't know if you're as good a person as Tina Fey. Yeah. We'll find out in a minute. We'll find out. Capri, what's the most outrageous thing that happened today? Well, let me ask you, Tucker. Do you like Bill Nye, the science guy? I know Bill Nye, the science guy. <laughs> but do you like him? Now, you may, you may not, it's okay, but here's the thing. What people don't realize is that there's going to be this march on science, much yes. like the march for women. Um, and, you the know, march I'm, on science. The march for science. Because for science. For science. For science. And, of course, who do you want for, to lead the march for science? And Bill Nye, the science guy, right? Who's not now, actually who, a scientist, but yeah, okay, right. that's fine. Part of it is the rub is that Bill Nye is actually an engineer. He's not really a science guy. But apparently the folks that are organizing this march got in a little bit of a kerfuffle because they were very concerned that they were projecting this image of, you know, stereotypes that only scientists, the only scientists that are out there are white guys. So what did they do? They decided that they were going to bring in two other women of color to flank the non-science Bill Science, the science guy. So, um, you know, the, the concern here, again, for me as a Democrat, is, look, we need to pick our battles, right? And instead of, like, going crazy about what kind of image we're portraying, if you really care about... Um, you know, really advancing the uh, the agenda of science. Why don't you get some real scientists, bring them to Capitol Hill, and testify instead of having a march? Come on. So, people who don't believe in sonograms are lecturing me on science. For one thing, that's a deal killer. For another, <laughs> if you're going to have a march for science, wouldn't you put a real scientist at the head <laughs> of it? Right, exactly. And not Bill Nye. Shouldn't that be the like, issue? But shouldn't that be right? the thing that you're concerned about that you don't have a real scientist to lead the science march? Like, find one of those dudes. So what they're really saying is they hate white men more than they hate global warming. Well, you'll be the judge, Tucker. Oh, I am going to be the judge. <laughs> You're okay. going to be the judge. Both of you, I will say, have very strong entries tonight. Mm -hmm. I think your story proved the point that Tina Fey is just a much better, more caring, more yeah. intelligent, more decent person than you will ever be. So genuflect before her. <laughs> Um, and that is, of course, annoying as mm -hmm. hell. And you are making the case that people who beat their chests about science don't know what it is. Maybe. And I think both of these stories are over the top, but yours is slightly more annoying, Capri. And so Good. you win tonight's crown. Yes. And by the way, we don't have a prize. We don't, don't have a prize fair. yet. I don't like you know being what? a loser, Tucker. It's, this I is one of those games that may be better to lose, Kelly. Okay. Probably. Right. It was great to see you both. Thank you <laughs> Thank for thank kicking you, off this feature. Absolutely. We'll see if it continues.